each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. I have known tonight's chef for years. He first came onto the culinary scene, gaining national recognition for his fine dining cuisine. Today, he's created a comfort food empire with his chain of restaurants, Pretty Bird, in Salt Lake City. I battled him twice, and both times, I lost. Wow, okay. Hopefully, you guys will have better luck than I did. <sighs> Password? Biscuit. Oh yeah. Tonight, you'll be cooking against Chef Viet Pham. <laughs> you beat me in Iron Chef and in Bee Bobby Flay, and I think you're actually the only chef that has that distinction. Really? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be probably the toughest culinary battle you faced. For round one, the ingredients are pork tenderloin and apples. You're gonna have 40 minutes to make two distinctly different dishes. Michael, you ready to defend that 25,000? Yes, chef. Pork chops and applesauce. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. 40 minutes on the clock. Let's go. Come on, chef. He's juicing apples. Already? Yep. Already. So he's making apple juice. For my first dish, I'm making a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin with a kohlrabi and apple remoulade and a bacon and apple dashi. Dashi is a broth, so I juice the apples, bring it up to a simmer, strain it through a coffee filter. I'm gonna make something really simple. For my first dish, I'm making a pork by me inspired lettuce wrap. So while my pork is marinating, I start on my pickled carrots and pickle apples. I'm using these instead of daikon as the pickle element in my lettuce wrap. All right. For my second dish, I'm making a pork and rice milanese with a sour applesauce and pickled apples. So first thing I'm doing is slicing my pork tenderloin, pounding it out a little bit. And then I'm coating my pork in these rice pearls so that I have a guaranteed crunch. Bread crumbs can get soggy over time, and these rice pearls will be crunchy. This pork tenderloin could be absolutely delicious as long as he has enough time to cook it. Right. Cooked pork tenderloin yeah. is great. Hey, Michael, do you know what I remember most about you? Chef, I don't have time to talk right now. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to throw you off a little bit. 90 seconds, you guys. So for my shaking pork dish, I spoon an even amount of pork and apples into each dish. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you guys. <laughs> Great job making it through the first round. I'd like to introduce you all to tonight's judge. He's opened multiple restaurants all over Manhattan. Please welcome Chef Frank Prisanzano. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start tasting. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Steven? Ooh, nice presentation. Okay, Chef A, the first dish is pork and rice milanese with pickled apples and sour apple sauce. So dish two is a bacon-wrapped pork tenderloin, apple bacon dashi, and kohlrabi and apple remoulade. All right, let's get to work here. Rare. That would be a problem in a restaurant, but we love tenderloin rare, don't we? So you're cool with it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here are these dishes. So dish number one is a pork banh mi inspired lettuce wrap with uh, pickled apples and carrots. To the second dish, shaken pork with caramelized apples, garlic, and watercress. Michael, your dish has received a total of nine points. Ooh. So Viet, in the first round, your scores received five points. Oh, wow. So that's probably my worst loss ever. Overall, Viet, those were great ideas. Just thought that the meat was a little dry. Round two has the same rules as round one. You have to create two distinctly different dishes using Potatoes and chives. Let's go. Let's go, bro! For my first dish, I'm making a scallop and pancetta with a lemon and chive vinaigrette. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a potato mousse and some crispy potato chips. I'm also making a simple potato stew with brown butter and to top it off, some trout roe. I'm making a potato salad dressed with a chive green goddess dressing topped with trout roe and bacon. 
For my second dish, I'm doing steamed clams with white wine and chive butter. I've got fingerling potatoes in there, and then it's gonna be topped with a chive and cilantro stem relish. So I squeeze a little bit of my potato mousse out of the cream whipper. The mousse is loose, and it's not setting the way that I want it. Want a little colder, chef? A little loose. I'll pick it up. 90 seconds, you guys, 90 seconds. I run and grab an additional nitrous charger, and I shake it up really, really fast. Here comes the potato mousse, ladies and gentlemen. And it comes out perfectly. Good job, chef. So I'm relieved. Oh, come on, bro, come on. 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, six 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Ooh. Dish one is scallops, pancetta, and a lemon chai vinaigrette with a potato mousse and crispy potato chips. The second dish. Potato stew and brown butter and chives. Interesting, super interesting. All right, this is Chef B. The first dish is a chive green goddess potato salad with bacon and shroud roe. You got, you got you, I, see, I see you thinking, like, what are you thinking here? Well, my initial reaction is a little bit underwhelmed, so I'm hoping there's something else going on here. Let's move on to the second dish. So white wine and chive butter steamed clams, and then there's fingerlings with a potato, lemon, and chive, and cilantro stem relish. Clams are cooked perfectly, thank God. Always the first thing I'm looking for. Viet, this round, your dishes scored a total of eight points. It should have been at least a nine, but it's better than a five, I'll take it. Okay, so Chef B was Brooke. Your dishes received five points. I thought you could have done a lot more with those two ingredients. Okay, thank you, Chef. You're welcome. I will say I'm a little surprised. I feel like this is gonna be a tough day. This round, Viet is gonna choose the two ingredients. What are we cooking with tonight? Da -da -da -da. Chicken thighs and red cabbage. Okay. <laughs> These two ingredients are the foundation of what I cook today at my restaurant, Pretty Bird. So you're making a sandwich? Possibly. <laughs> I fry chicken for a living, so I know that my flavors will prevail. $25,000 on the line, so act like it goes. I'm making a Nashville-style hot chicken sandwich with a red cabbage slaw and elote salad. This is the signature sandwich at my restaurant, Pretty Bird. I'm making a duck fat fried chicken with a red cabbage slaw, a little bit of a spicy mayo, and some crispy double cooked fries. The first thing I want to do is get my seasoning mix going. I grab some cayenne, celery seed, black pepper, chili powder. I don't want one specific spice to overpower all the others. So while my veggies are grilling, I start on my pickles. I use a little bit of rice wine vinegar, salt, a little bit of sugar, some water, and you guessed it, some fish sauce. Pickles are gonna add that nice acidity that's gonna balance out the richness of the sandwich. I pull them out the fryer, and they look perfect. They're GBD, they're golden brown and delicious. This is what I'm known for. I'm normally not this far behind. Tiffany, you gonna finish? I'm gonna finish up. 30 seconds to go. I take that butter bun, I add a little bit of spicy mayo, I lay the chicken directly on top of that. Five, four, three, two, one. This is a Nashville-style hot chicken sandwich with an elote corn salad. Chicken's awesome. Okay. This is a duck fat fried fried chicken sandwich with red cabbage, a gochujang mayo, duck fat fries. Tiffany, great dish. I gave you a dish 10 out of 20. Daggers to the heart. Daggers. Yet. Yeah. I felt like your dish was very inspired. I got something out of every component in the sandwich. I gave your dish 18. Congratulations. Thank you. You know what, Viet? I'll tell you this. We're getting tired of you winning. Because <laughs> you beat me twice. You took these guys down. Nobody does that. You're leaving here with $25,000. Congratulations. Great job. I took down the Titans and it feels amazing. Come grab your cash. Guys, let's have a toast. Come on. <laughs>